championship NBA Finals. And it's the San Antonio Spurs up one game to none over New Jersey in the back. Quicker and not let him split him. Because once he splits that double team, forget about it. That's a layup as it was. Still an eight-point lead. Still no offense from the Nets except Kenyon. Let's see if Jason Kidd can get on track. That's a good start for him. He knocks down the three. And it's Harris who just checked in with a rebound. Big possession here to try to close the gap a little bit and slow down the score. Nice. On slide and Kidd got it with the left hand. Uh, Kenyon Martin is doing so many things well. That time just... And we're seeing the different defensive strategy by Byron Scott. Jason Collins, a lot of time on Tim Duncan. Boy, now it's a one-point game just like that, Jason Kidd. The bad night is many times this year. He would like more time. Nice. Pass to Harris. Off the glass. I love that initiation off the high five for the game. The lead, though, is still New Jersey's in game two here. They need this one. They can't go back to the Meadowlands. Down 2-0. They've got a three-point lead with four minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the quarter. And they've got Jason Kidd, who has warmed up on this second game. Cuts it to three. That's how they started the second half of last game. Hitting a couple three-pointers, getting the crowd into it. They also started it with his own defense that completely befuddled the Nets. The Nets have spent the last 48 hours working on their zone offense. Now a chance of defense. Nice. Kid trying to spin it, got it back. And now he'll take the outside jumper and buries it. Jason's got 11. He dribbled around. Quick. Sometimes when you struggle mentally, you just get too quick. You try to get by guys too quick, and your thought process needs to slow down. Here's Jason Kidd getting by everybody and using the glass. Well, you got Kenyon Martin run turnover woes that they have tonight, and they find themselves down by eight. I think Jason Kidd has to punish Parker down here. Oh, got that to go in. <laughs> or did Martin get a hand on it? Well, if there was a degree of difficulty, they're not getting out on the break much, but they're doing it defensively. They've just been magnificent tonight. Kid leaves it for Collins. They keep getting better. Every point. Awfully slow in coming for Malik Rose. There you see the 16 turnovers and only seven assists night for San Antonio. Kid got it out to Collins somehow. Jason, I don't know how. Jason Kidd is putting on a performance. That's going to cause all kinds of problems in the transition game. Oh, Kid weaves no. through everybody and score. Oh, no. <laughs> the bench <laughs> for New Jersey ship here. Jason Kidd, 18 points. Parker right on Kidd. Kidd will take the deep three. Got it! <laughs> Jason Kidd over Parker from way outside. And now the ball loose, and Jefferson comes up with a steal. Find a guard. Jefferson leaves it for Kidd on the land. And the Spurs turnover problems can out of Duncan Kitchen right in that little three. Martin and Duncan to jump. Taps controlled by New Jersey. And Martin got that yeah. ball. He's out quick yeah. him. So here's the Nets now clinging to a one-point lead. 120 to play. Trying to tie the series at a game apiece. Kidd, tough shot off the glass. <laughs> <laughs> One for two tonight. Two for three to does with a second with just under 20 seconds remaining. Got them both. Pressure's off. They scored their opponents by more per quarter than any other squad in the entire playoff this year. And Jason Kidd's just... And he the got them both again. Uh, Jason Kidd, second of two. Got the second, but the Spurs have a chance. Court. Parker to Jackson, might be a winner, in and out. Robinson and the Nets have survived it. They won it. They win it on the road. 87-85, and it's going back to the Meadowlands at a game apiece. Jackson got a pretty good look. Robinson tried to scramble for the rebound. Couldn't find the handle in time. They didn't get another attempt. And Jason Kidd and company have done it. Finally a win, and here's the final seconds. Tony Parker had a pretty wide open court. Got the pass. There's Jackson, who's been hot from three-point land all night. This one in, out. The rebound was loose. No time left for a second attempt for San Antonio.
Well, I thought Tony Parker was going to dribble a little bit closer, try to get to the lane. But Jackson with a good look. You know, it's tough sometimes as a shooter. You see that guy flying out of the corner of your eye, and that distracts you just enough to make you miss it. And Byron Scott, who said over the course of the last 48 hours, we just didn't play hard enough. We're not going to change a bunch of strategy. Although they did change some strategy tonight, they do get the win. Let's go to Stuart Scott, Stu. Jason, pregame to a man all the Nets were convinced they were going to win tonight. What made you all so confident considering how you got beat in game one? Well, I think our confidence uh, is one thing that nobody can take from us. And if you're going to be good in this league, you can't. You got to be confident. And so uh, we felt we didn't play our best basketball in game one. And our job was to try to win one out of two. And uh, we did that. Your first game in game one, you shot four of 17. You came back with 30 points this game. Your coach, Byron Scott, told us he didn't say a word to you about your performance in game one. Why didn't he have to? Well, I think the respect, uh, you know, coach knows. I, don't, I think my whole teammates, they didn't say anything about my performance in game one because I knew it was it was terrible and uh, I need to step up and, uh, you know, I, I got to do this for my teammates and uh, 